Okay, people, welcome back to another Sabbath, Fuji Sabbath. As some of you know, if I have something that isn't <laughs> what I usually talk about related, I use Sunday to kind of branch out, talk about other things. And Ewan has been bugging me for a little while to take a look at one of their chairs. And I thought, you know what? Everybody sits in chairs, so why not? First of all, this big honking box. Holy, it says 26 to 30 kilograms, which I think translates to 950, 975 pounds, somewhere in there. The FedEx guy pulled up in front of the house, came and knocked on the door. He was empty handed and I thought, what the hell is going on here? He said, hey, can you come out and help me carry this? And I did and I thought, whoa, this does take a team lift. Somewhere during that process though, uh, I, the box kind of broke through. That wasn't like that when it showed up. I don't know what happened. It, it wasn't me. But cracking into the box, it says, do not cut, but it's tape. What the hell am I supposed to do? I got a little itty bitty exacto. <laughs> I love big boxes. Damn it, I can't help it. It's a starfish. You know what this is. It's the damn base. Come on. Another big honking cardboard. Now, when we finally got in the process of actually getting together on this, they asked me my height and my weight, which... Mm -mm. And then they suggested a certain type of chair, which my only uh, request was for it to be foosh blue. And they sent me a foosh blue chair. I'll be damned. Looks like the box just slid a little bit over. It seems to be intact. It's not hurt. What am I going to do with this? Good, the box is half the weight. I mean, what? It's real light. I'm strong. I'm tough. Some plastic dealies. That's the technical term. Catalog for their other chairs, other stuff. Nothing's gonna be foosh blue. Even the casters <laughs> have blue in the middle. That's amazing, I like that. Extendy thingy. White gloves in case you want to keep your hands pristine. Be gone, cardboard. <laughs> Never mind, that was the instruction manual. <laughs> I opened it up, looked at it, blank faced, blank brained, and just kinda like, yep. Mine's blue. What am I doing here? Oh, what I'm finding cool here is there's not a big bag of hardware. You don't have bolts and screws and washers and everything else in a long plastic bag and you have to sort them out and stuff. It's already in the parts needed. So you just take them out, attach the part, put them back in, you're done. Because the less complication in my life, especially when putting shit together, the better. <laughs> Okay, first of all, the instructions go like this. It goes in a spiral. It's serpentine. It took me a minute. Put both bolts into the back through this bracket. Now there is a left and right. See the extra kick out right there? That goes over the mechanism on this side. Same on this side. Oh, not the microphone. Now, since I'm looking at it backwards, I'm trying not to mount it backwards. I think it goes this way. It's gotta go that way, right? It goes high enough to where I can swing my feet. I can't touch the ground. Like I mentioned at first, she wanted my height and weight, and I'll be damned if this isn't all the way on the ground, my feet fit flat. Okay, you can adjust this a little bit. Oh, what? Wait, where am I going? Huh, leaning back this far, I thought, oh, surely I'm gonna tip back, but no, it feels really stable. Or does it come forward? Oh. That's not bad. It likes to slide down a little bit. A uh, little story. Uh, last year I was at Salt Lake Fan X and my left arm started going numb to where I couldn't feel it. It was dead. It hurt. It, it, it painful. So I went and got scans when I got back home and they showed me my neck and boy, I was proud. It was straight up and down, but apparently that's not good. So I started to have to do corrective exercises. And one of my things was when sitting, have a pillow behind here and try to sit as straight as possible because I've always had that problem. So this kind of works for that. It's not pushing against me, but I can feel that it's giving me some curve. So that's not bad at all. Plus the lumbar pillow, you can slide it up and down wherever you want it to go. A little high, a little high. Not bad right there. The armrests have a button on the inside where you can slide them back, slide them forward. But there's also the trigger on the outside where you can come up and go down. So I can put them real high if I'm doing something like commanding a ship. Engage. So yeah, that is not bad at all. I love the color, of course, but also the durability. It, the, a little bit of shakiness to the armrest, but otherwise this is nice material. There's metal holding it to the seat. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna bounce in it and just be like, Pfft. it's firm, it's tight. 
it's tough even for a guy in pajama pants but yeah i think i found my messing around at the desktop chair this is lovely you know for when i'm typing at the laptop or watching the evening news or doing any other kind of adult things that we adults may do. All in all, to put it together, it took about 20 minutes. And it's not bad at all. And most of that was unscrewing the screws that were already in the parts. The instructions, a little bit hard to follow, but once you figure out how to actually read them, that's not that bad. Because it's essentially putting the back on, putting the bottom on, putting the casters on, done. And once you have together, it feels like a quality product. The stitching's all tight. The materials used is very tough. Feeling, I guess you could say. And when you're sitting in it, it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall out from under you. You are, well, you're going to stay in that position for as long as you want to. Now, if you're interested in this chair at all, the direct link for this model is down in the links. If you use code FOOSH, you'll get 30% off. Still a little bit expensive, but I don't know. I may have to get another one of these for when I'm playing PlayStation and stuff over there. Or mount something to the ceiling. I can look up at it. Hmm. Foosh blue. Pretty. So if you like the review, <laughs> comment, like, subscribe. Catch me over at my Vimeo channel. Uh, join Foosh Plus if you like stuff early. For teasers, I'm doing little condensed reviews over on my Instagram, on my IGTV channel. But most of all, I'm all over the place, except where, <laughs> where you're used to seeing me. For now, we'll see what happens. But until then, you can catch me on all kinds of Foosh's.